Hi, Barbie. I'm busy. What's for lunch? F*** off. Always a pleasure talking to you. Hi, Barbie. F*** off. One of those days, huh? No more talky-talky. I'm trying to renovate my kitchen and you assholes are annoying me. Okay, I've watched a couple of renovation-type reality shows in my day. What you're doing looks more like drink mixing than renovation. I am renovating, Carisha, but I'm doing it by drink mixing. You're making a whole lot less sense than you normally do, Barbie. And that really does say something. Hi, Barbie. What's for lunch? Don't bother. We already tried. Got a whole bunch of crazy in return. I am not crazy. I am mixing a drink that will allow me to time travel into the future so that I can properly renovate my kitchen so if someone can pass me the methanol that would be very helpful. Okay, how about you say that sentence again but have it make some sort of sense this time. Oh, do you guys remember that time a little while back when I hit my head on the kitchen floor which somehow transported me years into the future where I saw you guys all grown up and crap and your lives were all up and shit, but my kitchen looked amazing. If you're talking about the time that you had a brain bleed, followed by vivid hallucinations, brought on by the intracranial swelling, then yes, Barbie, we remember. We're the ones that took your ass to the hospital after you started having seizures and sat by your bed during your three-week coma. Oh yeah, cool story, whatever you say. For some reason, I can't quite remember all the details of my future kitchen. Not for some reason, for intracranial swelling due to brain bleed reasons. And and so, I am trying to induce a hallucinogenic response so that I can see the future again and renovate my kitchen accordingly. You're trying to severely injure yourself so you can have your wacky dream again? Yes, exactly. Congrats, you're officially the dumbest person alive. She might not even be alive for that long. This is rat poison. Pretty sure dead people don't have dreams, Barbie. I gotta get hardcore, you guys. I've already hit my head with six kinds of blunt object with no result, and I drank this entire bottle of toilet cleaner, and all it's given me, I ironically, is the runs. Is this really worth it just to renovate your kitchen? It was such a goddamn beautiful kitchen, Skipper. F*** you. I'm a grown-up and I will drink this rat poison if I want to. I can't condone this, but I'm not going to lie and say that I'm not intrigued by what's going to happen. Those seizures were kind of epic last time. Well, sucks to be you because nothing's happening. I must have some insane tolerance. Maybe if I add a little more value. Holy f***. I'm in a different place! Yes! It's my future kitchen! Oh, thank you, methylated spirits, benzos, and weed killer in my drink! I'm hardcore hallucinating again! Okay, I gotta take note of the gorgeous paneling. What gorgeous paneling? What? Shut up! I'm on the phone! 15,000 is the final offer, take it or leave it! Oh my god! It's pregnant future Chelsea and workaholic future Stacy! Huh? Who are you referring to? How's the baby doing, Chelsea? Who's baby? Are you not pregnant? No, I would never have biological children. Not with all the war orphans in need of homes, but then I wouldn't adopt either because of their emotional trauma. Oh, okay. I just, the last time I was here, you were pregnant. No matter. Uh, how are you? How would you be with all the weapons of mass destruction the government continues to cover up? Loaded question. I'm gonna move on from you. How's work, Stacy? Work? I'm out of work on account of my panic attacks. You know this. Yes, are you still there? I'm waiting on an answer on my $15,000 offer on your Beanie Babies ball call eBay listing. So this is a little different from what I remember. Aaron Muslim honey, don't forget to put diaper rash cream on Melisandre's little tushy. And did you burp Atticus after his bottle? You know he gets refluxy if you don't. You'd think after four kids he'd have it down, wouldn't you? But no, men really are stupid. And you're a little bit the same. Hi, blonde skipper. Hi, blonde mom. Don't call me that. It gives me hives. You know what gives me hives? Thinking about the world economy. Yes, I'm the proud owner of 23,000 vintage Beanie Babies. I know they're going to be worth something someday. Okay, so things are super weird, but hey, that's probably fine since this is a poison and juice hallucination. No need to overanalyze it, right? Uh, sure, whatever you say. All right then, where's Chrissy? <gasps> Did you say Chrissy? Yeah, little Chrissy, the spazzo one. I saw her the last time I had this vision and it was freaking hilarious. Where is she at? Mom, Chrissy died years ago. She, she died? Yeah, micro microwaved herself as a baby. <laughs> <laughs> microwaved herself? How do you microwave yourself? You knew Chrissy, always falling into trouble. Usually because you weren't watching her. I think you were preoccupied making some sort of concoction you thought would allow you to time travel when it happened. Uh, Chrissy! Oh god! I need more baby babies! Uh. No, 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 this is messed up. Chrissy doesn't die. She's just a little screwy in the head, but it's perfectly lovable. And I'm back again. That was insane. Yeah, Barbie, you were twitching all over the place and your eyes were like in the back of your head. I got it on film. Where's Chrissy? Uh, she was here a few seconds ago. <gasps> 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god, that was a bit of a close call, even for Chrissy. I can change the future. What? I can change the future! Like, through hard work? No, I saw the future and it was different. It was different because I wasn't watching Chrissy, so she got microwaved. But now I've gone back to the past and changed that, so now the future will be totally different again. Notice the nonsensical babbling? That's a direct effect of the weed killer. Oh. No, don't you see? The future isn't set in stone. I can change it to be whatever I want it to be. Like, by dreaming and believing in yourself? No, Tard, are you even listening? I'm trying not to, but I'm still getting a bit of it, unfortunately. I'm going to write to a nanny service so that we have someone keeping an eye on Chrissy at all times. That way she doesn't inadvertently die when I'm having a casual daily bender. Good responsible parenting on your behalf, Barbie. Then maybe, with the added babysitting pressure off you guys, you two won't turn out so panicky and weird. Huh? And you won't be such a disgusting motherly type. I won't be a what now? Alright, let's see how I did. No, Barbie, I don't think you should have anymore. Yeah, it was funny for a bit, but then he started frothing at the mouth. Shush, 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 shush. I need to observe the fruits of my labor. Oh, that works nice. How much propofol did I put in this? Barbie, I've told you before not to use Western medicine. Our bodies are sacred vessels and should be worshipped as such. Stacy's different! I knew I could change things! If you're meaning my hair, I cut it using a knife hand-carved out of the bones of a beached whale. I feel very at peace about it. Well, good for you, new age free spirit, Stacy. I guess not having to look after Chrissy all the time made you a little less tightly wound, huh? Namaste. A lot less. Chesto, you good? Huh? What's up with you? You sad? Worried about the government or some such? Why are you screaming? It's 1 p.m. I'm trying to sleep off my f***ing hangover before my f***ing photo shoot this afternoon. You asshat. It's me! Chelsea's turned into me! How lucky are you? Oh, yeah, f***ing lottery win my life is. I'll tell you what. How fun is this? Where is Chrissy? She's not dead, is she? Hi, Mom! Hey, can you sign my permission slip for my AP Biology field trip to the hospital? I think it will really help me when I'm applying to med school. Also, remember, I'll be at coding class later, so I might be late for dinner. She's talking in actual sentences about actual things! This is crazy town! No, this is fake Malibu. Oh, look at the time. I've got a run or I'll be late for the chakra centering class Harvest and I are going to. Harvest? You remember, my wife, Harvest. Stacy gets a wife! I told you to stop f***ing screaming! This is better than any future I could have possibly planned for you guys. I'm so impressed with me! Anselm, make sure little Holly Oak doesn't eat too much chocolate, okay? And put a jacket on little Coachella. I don't want her to get cold. God love him. He needs so much guidance. No! No! Gross Skipper is still here! <laughs> I failed! What's wrong with you, Mom? You're wrong! Okay, how about I make something for lunch? Since that's what I came to the kitchen for in the first place, yet all we've done so far is hang around and watch while you casually try to kill yourself. Oh, thank Mattel, I'm back. That was a nightmare. It kind of was. You stopped breathing five or six times. I don't get it. Why can't I change future Skipper? Barbie, you're not affecting the future. You're just high and losing consciousness. You don't know what I saw. I got you a great outcome, Stacy. You wear maxi dresses and talk about chakras and have a wife called Harvest. A wife? I'm not a lesbian, Barbie. At least I don't think. Have I really thought about this? And Chrissy was smart and Kelly Andrew was a cool drunkard like me. Did you see the wife? Would was she, like, pretty? So there's gotta be a way I can fix Skipper. Do not drink that ridiculous concoction again, Barbie. You're gonna corrode your esophagus. Maybe you should drink it one more time. Just to see this harvest, ask us if we own property. hi all what's for lunch? Oh, no, not this again. I told you not to add washing powder to your drinks, Barbie. You remember the hospital bill last time? It's you, isn't it? What's me? The reason Skipper is gonna turn out all vanilla is because you're here cleaning up my messes and providing a stable environment, isn't it? She's babbling nonsensically. We'd kill a lot by the looks of things. Damn it, Barbie. You stop this right now. You gotta set a better example for our kids. No, you have no power over me. In fact, I think you should leave. Yeah, I'm breaking up with you. What? We are officially broken up. Pack up your hideous clothing and get out of my dream house. No, you can't break up with me again, Barbie. I can and will. I gotta think of what's best for all our futures, Ken, and this is it. <laughs> I'm bad again. You're being irrational, Barbie. Emma, we'll just see when your futures are all kinds of edgy and awesome who made a wrong decision. My 
God, I should bottle and sell this stuff. I'd be even richer than I already am. So I'm thinking lavender for the bridesmaids' dresses with white rose bouquets. Oh, beautiful. Hey, you guys, are we planning a wedding? Whose wedding? Brendan and my wedding, Barbie. Is Brendan a woman's name? No, Brendan is the sexy piece of man meat she stole away from me, but that don't matter because we sisters, so I'm happy to share with you. Whatever, Chrissy. Chrissy? Why are you talking like that? Why am I talking like what? I'm talking like normal. Chrissy, you took my sweater, you stupid bitch. We're sharing this sweater. That's what sisters do. Ask Stacy. Oh, wow. Skipper looks so different. I nailed it. Oh, hi, Missy Barbara. Papa, Missy Barbara here. Probably get our alimony check from you. Thanks, Valeria. Hi, Barbie. I've got your check right here. What's happened? Hello, Barbie. You come to have lunch at our house? Oh, that's so nice. I thought this was my house. Isn't this my house? Oh, well, not after your bankruptcy. You remember Yasmin and I took the house off your hands just before we had Valeria? Is that a disease you contracted? No, no. I daughter Valeria. Hello, how you do? It was ideal, really, since we already had full custody of the other four. A sweet son of Satan. I'm bankrupt, and Yasmin owns my beautiful kitchen, and Stacy is married a man? This could not get any worse. It's just a quick visit at Dad and Yasmin's house, Anselm. I gotta be at Mother's Group by four. No! No! What have I done? I've made a terrible, terrible mistake. 22 minutes seizure, Barbie. A new record. Yeah, you were making noises like... I came back for my man back. I'll be going now. No, Ken, don't go. I didn't mean it. You can't leave. Everything goes wrong if you leave. What are you talking about? Skipper's disgusting future never changes. No matter what I do, it's terrible. Stacy marries a man. Oh, gross. I mean, I don't know what I mean. Was he pretty? I got a lot to think about. Barbie, you're very sick. Go with this nice paramedic, please. You need your stomach pump. But the future, I have to fix the future, Skipper. Okay, okay, I'm gonna humor you for a sec. You say my future is always the same. Why do you think that is? Because you're a moron and there's no hope for you. Maybe, but maybe the moral is you can try and try to affect the future, but it's out of your hands. Stop meddling. And for gosh sakes, get in the ambulance. Okay, okay, the drink didn't taste nice anyway. Okay. Did you know that when our kind of doll procreate with a brat's doll, it produces a mycene doll? Because I didn't know that. Okay, that's nice. We're gonna give you some ketamine for your pain, okay? Hey, you know what else? Whoa! No! Those shares are dropping by an average of 2.5% per week. We are not going to buy them. Oh my god, this baby will not stop kicking me right in the bladder. Always the bladder. Anselm, can you get the teething gel? Thanks, honey. If I eat the whole box of crayons, will my poop be rainbow? Because I've done it. Chrissy, where are your pants, honey? I buried them. I want to grow a pants tree. Oh well, guess I'll get used to it. <sighs> oh my f***. I never even looked at the kitchen, did I? New Barbie stop motions are released on the 15th of every month. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and follow us on social media. Love, Sam. And Mickey.